Hi, and welcome to my channel, which is about helping you create your own audio and video content. Today, I'm going to show you how to connect a Blue Yeti USB microphone to an Android phone. This will allow you to make a huge improvement to the sound quality on your videos and conference calls and improve the sound quality of your recordings if you use your phone as a digital audio recorder. I'll be using a Blue Yeti and a Samsung Galaxy A53 5G Android phone. However, the steps will be very similar for almost any USB microphone that has a cable that ends with a USB-A connector, plus many other models of Android phones and tablets. The first problem we have in connecting the Blue Yeti to an Android phone is that the Yeti's USB-A connector won't fit into the USB-C port on the phone. If you have an older Android phone, it might even have a micro USB port, but you still have the same problem. The microphone's USB cable won't connect. Clearly, we need a USB adapter, specifically a USB-C to USB OTG adapter. With this type of adapter, we can connect the Android phone to external devices like keyboards, memory sticks, and in our case, this Blue Yeti microphone. I use a Syntec USB-C to USB OTG adapter, which I got off Amazon quite inexpensively. A twin pack cost me just under $10. Insert the Syntec OTG adapter into the Android phone's USB-C port. Then plug the Blue Yeti's USB cable into the Syntec adapter. Next, connect the other end of the mic cable to the mini USB socket on the bottom of the Blue Yeti. You should see the red LED on the Yeti's mute button light up, showing that the mic is connected and receiving power. If you want to monitor yourself on headphones and listen back to your recording, plug some headphones into the 3.5mm jack on the base of the Blue Yeti. That's it. Your Blue Yeti is connected to your Android phone, and your audio, video and conference call apps should use it as the audio source. But if your camera app will only use the internal microphone on your phone, don't worry. All you need to do is download the free Open Camera app from the Play Store. Open the app, then tap on the Settings gear wheel and scroll down and tap on Video Settings. Tap on Audio Source and choose External Mic. Now, if you need to monitor yourself and listen to playback on headphones, I do recommend using a USB microphone like the Blue Yeti, and it's for a good practical reason. You can plug your headphones into the microphone and get zero latency monitoring, meaning you'll hear yourself in real time. If instead you try using Bluetooth earbuds, you'll, you'll hear, hear yourself, yourself with, with a, a slight, slight delay, delay, which is really off-putting. If you want to get this Syntec OTG adapter, I'll put a link in the description. It's an Amazon affiliate link, so I might earn a small commission if you use the link, although you don't pay any extra. If you do use the link, thank you very much. It helps me to continue making more videos. If you have an Android device with a micro USB port, you'll need a micro USB to USB OTG adapter. Since I haven't tested any, I don't want to recommend any specific adapters, but if you search on Amazon, you're bound to find one. If you found this video useful, I'd really appreciate it if you would hit the like and subscribe buttons. It really does help me here on YouTube. You can also find in-depth articles about content creation on my website, DIYVideoStudio.com. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you soon.